this is probably on the sadder side. Um, Halo Infinite, Christian. It's not on the been... sadder side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sad. What do you mean you. it's not on the sadder side? I mean, sad, I guess, for Microsoft because they're like, this is the thing we've been working on. This is going to launch with a new console. JK, we don't have like any launch titles, first party launch titles with their new Xbox. Buy it, please. I don't know. They're delayed it into 2021. And all I can say is, thank you. Somebody listen. You listen to the, like... I mean, if that doesn't make you realize that that demo they showed is what they have. People are like, Ugh. it's like months old, Bill. It has to be, right? That's what that told me. Like, the fact that's that pretty recent. It. Like, you wouldn't wait for a delay and make this incredible thing with, a, like, something old. You'd be like, this is going to be a launch title, too. Like, take- like this is... Like most companies devote insane amount of money and time specifically for like E3 showcases and stuff. Like they would have ideally, like what if that really was it and everything, like they normally polish out that entire spot. But the fact they didn't and everything just just speaks to whatever is going on there is a dumpster fire. Like normally you would put so much into a reveal. In fact, normally you would put too much into a reveal. Yeah. And so, like, for this to be the presentation was just like, man, like this is, this yeah, is, this is right. good. Like, chief, if it was old. It was must have been like, I would give it tops two, maybe three months old, and that's like <sighs> insignificant. Like, I was, it's still too close. I was watching it, and I was like, this has to be like six months, seven months old. Like, this has to be a super I, old. I build. certainly hope this is like a year like, old. Personally. Yeah, like. Well, I, I was giving them like the benefit of that, like this is Corona, and like they're like, well, we can't capture it on like the newer gameplay. Like we have to capture it on some older stuff that we have, you know. And then you know, I knew they were in really big trouble when I was watching it. Not one time did they really do outside of coming out of the Pelican. Did they do a really nice E <laughs> three kind of pan oh, on like the slow pan? Yeah, like you really because well, the really one time they that. did, I was like. It was like, yeesh. <laughs> like, no. uh, no. So yeah, uh, I'm not complaining. I would rather you... Here's the thing. People remember a game if it becomes great but released bad. People remember when it released bad. Like Fallout 76, yep. let's say. People like praise that right now. But all I think is the absolute dumpster fire that it was when it launched and a lot of other people do. But like people won't remember. Minority. Yeah, but people won't are l- way less likely to remember a game if it got delayed, but then came out and was great. Because it's just like, oh yeah, that that game was great. They're not like, man, I, you know, it sucked. We had to wait a year, but instead, just be like, yo, that dude. Instead of this game sucks, and a year later being like, oh, okay, it's finally out of place, and then you try and convince your friends, you know, no, no, dude, like that was trash. Well, one of the best examples is Destiny, right? Like, because in the circle. You'd be there'd be there's moments where it's like, oh, it's a great game. There's moments where it's oh, it's a bad game. To the larger like gaming audience of just like natural, like normal consumers, Destiny Normies. is a it does is not exactly a high reputation game. And it's because yeah. it's launched bad twice. <laughs> yeah. So that 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 lasts. Like if your launch is bad, like that doesn't come off your That'll reputation. follow you. That follows you forever. That's what I'm saying. Take your time, make it a good game. What comes out first, Cyberpunk or Halo Infinite? <laughs> cyberpunk. Cyberpunk, probably. Probably. And that's saying something because I think yep. Cyberpunk's 2021. I still think it's going to get delayed out of this year. Really? Because I think it is, too. I think, I think they're going to say, we need a little bit more time. And I think I'm a bro- lot of I'm more gonna be people like, are going to re. I'll, I'll, I'll be one of those people like, good. Do it because I've like watched it. those like tech demos of like and I- I'm not blown away by a lot of the stuff. If I can't like, who was it? Um, I think it was Arcanum. If I can't really walk through that door, then like how really open world is this? You know what I mean? Like I want it to be. And the same thing with Halo. It, it needs to be something that is like because if Halo Infinite doesn't hit, this really could be it for halo like they better wrap up the campaign in this one if this sucks because this could really truly be the nail in the coffin for halo unless another unless 343 wants to be like is there a company in microsoft that wants to do this (laughs) anyone 
Even though they literally made 343 for that exact reason. So, can't see that happening. Please, bro, take it. Take the take But the yeah, project. like, Jesus, please put... Like, the crazy thing too, though, is if it does get delayed, odds are it's going to be delayed until fall 2021, like holiday season, because they're going to want a big first-party title around holiday season. Yeah, they don't and, want to release it in, like, February, March. Like, they're not going to put it out The there. only other big ones we saw in the showcase were Fable and Avowed that were first-party. And there's no way those are going to be ready.